Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at the best Cyberpunk 2077 mods that fix the game. This outstanding RPG is still rough around the edges, but it doesn't have to be. For this list, we'll be looking at mods that fix glaring issues with the base game. You'll also want to check out the mods Cyber Engine Tweaks and CP77 Tools by Yamashi and Arfuzo respectively, as those mods are required to run some of the others. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Climate Change by Ascenthi Night City may be stunning, but in some ways it's not quite the cyberpunk dystopia Blade Runner and the original tabletop RPG promised. Awful weather events and non-stop rain and darkness are hallmarks of the genre. And though it does rain in the game occasionally, many have said the weather isn't extreme enough. That's where this mod comes in, which swaps out those sunny California skies for severe weather events. You can enable weather conditions like high air pollution and toxic acid rain, really getting a feel for the fact that this is an earth that has been environmentally destroyed by the corpse. It's a small quality of life improvement, but adds enough depth and variety to the gameplay that it's worth installing. Spicy Huds by Spicy2332 Time to bring on the future. You might have played through the entirety of Cyberpunk without batting an eye at the colors of the UI, but plenty of people didn't like that pink on dark red look. Menus are supposed to be readable after all, and generally shouldn't give you a headache while you try to use them, and especially not in a game with as many menus as this one. That's why this revamp of the heads-up display is a breath of fresh air, providing you with a dozen different color schemes for the user interface. You blowing up everywhere. It's baffling that this feature, which was even present in Fallout 3 back in 2008, isn't included in the game. At the very least, it would be nice to have the option to apply Johnny's HUD aesthetic to V's optics. I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Draw Distance Boost by SJ Box. Even on top of the line PC hardware, you're still going to have technical issues with this game. And when the majority of players don't have the best PC components money can buy, those problems are only going to be even more pronounced. One thing you'll see the game do a lot to try and reduce its load is scale back the draw distance. Even walking at normal speed, you'll still see textures and vehicles appearing and disappearing around you. This simple file tweak drastically improves the draw distance and means you won't have your immersion ruined by things popping in and out of existence. We understand why the game has such a limited draw distance when it's such a heavy hitter, but it's nice to have the option to improve this if your hardware can handle it. Unlock Global Illumination Settings by SR Gamario. This mod is one everybody on PC should absolutely install, as it adds many more menu options to the game, which already has some pretty generous settings. Most importantly, it lets you adjust the settings for global illumination while also drastically extending the limits on the field of view. Changing the FOV is invaluable for players with ultra-wide monitors. No justice, no mercy! You can also adjust mouse sensitivity beyond the normal parameters and change the way the resolution scales. For even more customizability, you can also install the Better Controls menu mod by Nibrado in tandem. If you just can't get enough of tweaking your settings to get everything perfect, these mods are vital. Just like the good old days! The Cyber Body Shop by Brother Pazzo. Think we'll do a favor, hombre. 
Jesus, slow down maybe. One of the stranger oversights in the game that may have been cut for time is the fact that you can't equip any purely cosmetic cyberware outside of the scarce options in the character creator. The cyberware available to V won't drastically change their appearance for the most part, it's purely for the gameplay. But this mod lets you carry out those extreme body modifications you see plenty of NPCs rocking. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. You can switch out any and even all of your limbs for cybernetic ones if you want, and you can even add those intense visual mods you see the Maelstrom's wearing. It's a cool addition that will serve to immerse you in the world even more. New place, new identity. But first, your face got blood all over it. Better Vehicle Handling by RB. Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Off the back of three Witcher games, Cyberpunk marked the first time CDPR tried its hand at a driving mechanic. And you can definitely tell. Don't get us wrong, we like driving around Night City, but the car handling leaves much to be desired. This mod fine-tunes the game's cars so that they have even better handleability and are more fun to use as you cruise through the streets. After all, without the mod, those supercars might look great, but good luck trying to get the Rayfield Caliburn to actually do what you want it to. With no non-scripted car chases and only a handful of races, it's not a necessity to have the best driving, but when you spend so much time getting from point A to point B, it's worthwhile. Arasaka Appearance Updater by Admiral On PC, there is a way to change V's hairstyle by manually editing the game save. But that takes much more time and effort than installing this mod that will do it for you. It allows you to easily change a different haircut for V and even alter their facial features. Though it doesn't yet let you change the hair color, but that is being worked on according to the mod's creator. It's still baffling that you can't get a haircut in the base game, though you can install and uninstall all manner of cyberware, and was definitely one of the more baffling design decisions. This mod thankfully rectifies that oversight and lets you ensure that you've got a V you're happy with. Better Minimap by Wiley JL and Demon Red. One of gamers' biggest gripes with the game at launch was that the minimap was too zoomed in, and unlike other open world games, it didn't zoom out when you were traveling in a car at high speeds, which made it easy to miss turns. Though the minimap's zoom has been slightly altered in patches, this mod goes a lot further and will make the minimap function much like you'd expect the minimap in GTA or even Mafia to work. As well as altering the zoom level, you can also change how opaque the minimap is. Or, you can reduce it to a compass if you don't want to be glued to the map as you drive. Third Person Mod by Gel Backer. <laughs> Another thing that surprised players ahead of release was the revelation that this giant RPG, boasting one of the most detailed character creators yet, would be entirely in first person. You'd more or less never see the character you spent time crafting. The game does have some third person functionality, as it can be made third person while driving, but this mod extends that functionality to the whole game. Much like Fallout, you can choose between first and third person modes and use whatever you like the most. Maybe you'll stick with the first person that was intended, or maybe you just like the idea of actually seeing your character too much. Enhanced Police by Mandruas7 It's well known that the NCPD is pretty incompetent. Not only do they have to hire V to solve basically all of their crimes, but they're terrible at catching V when they do anything wrong. 
Cyberpunk became infamous at launch for spawning cops right on top of you with such poor AI that they'd lose you if you went just a block away. This mod aims to fix that and make the NCPD actually formidable, much like the relentless cops in GTA. CDPR is working on improving the cop AI through patches, but none of these changes are as extensive as this mod, so it's still necessary to install even if you have the latest updates. Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays.